Hey, hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we are continuing the Great One Black Bear Grind. But we're gonna be trying out something different than what we normally would do here for the grind, and it's actually been working out pretty well for me. Now, if only we could uh, have this right here work out a little bit better, that'd be great, and we finally got it down. But I've been trying a brand new strategy for this grind, and... It requires uh, two 308s in two different sites, so we're using one 308 with the Argus Scope, which is what we've been using for the most part, and then I've got a second one for closer targets with the Red Raptor Reflex, and it has actually been working out pretty well. For those bears that decide to run past you, this has been working out pretty amazingly. Now, I know to a lot of people this probably is going to be considered unnecessary, but I've been having quite a bit of fun with it, and it's definitely something you guys could do to kind of switch up your grind a little bit and make it a little bit more fun for those closer range targets, as it is uh, quite satisfying to use the Red Raptor now with the changes that they have made to it. And as with any grinding video, we're not going to be showing every single kill that we uh, end up getting, though we will show the uh, best of the best, like the mythicals and of course any rares or diamonds that we find. And if uh, we somehow find the great one, that will also be in it. Though I'm not really expecting him anytime soon, considering we are about uh, 1,270 kills into it without even any sign of him, and only seven diamonds throughout the course of this, so it has been a very slow grind to say the least. So this lake that we're currently going to is probably the area where this method has kind of worked out the best, and I've definitely had the most fun at this location using the Red Raptor Reflex, and that is because whenever you go down to this tower, the bears that do end up spooking from either your gunshots or the mountain lions that may be in the area tend to run from this corner all the way past the stand. So, provided you get down there in time, you have some pretty easy shots at some running black bear. Well, that is a uh, very nice sight right there. A mythical black bear right at this location that we were heading to to uh, try and show off the way the red raptor works with them. And we ended up finding ourselves the best bear of the day. So let's go ahead and take it down and we will see where they end up running to. Now, there's definitely another one running in this direction. So once it comes over here, we'll take it out with the Red Raptor. You know, I think one of the reasons I really enjoy doing this is because it's way different than my typical style of hunting. It's very rare that I use a Red Raptor reflex sight for anything that isn't a bird. And well, to be using it on Black Bear is quite a bit of fun. And as you can see right there, it worked out pretty well. Now, normally there is multiple ones that end up running in this direction. However, this is definitely not the case this time because it seems uh, seems one of them has got stuck. Well, you know what? We're just going to go ahead and put that guy down too. Honestly, it's not too difficult to take mid-range shots with the Red Raptor. Uh, provided you've been using it for a little bit, it's actually relatively easy to make long shots now. I'm really happy with the changes they've made to this site. It truly has made this a viable option for your grinding and also just for your everyday loadouts on your rifles. And for the people that really enjoy the close range hunting, it used to be that this thing was just so bad that even close range on a rifle, it could barely get an accurate shot. And now it's actually one of the better close range options, which is amazing. It's great to see. And we ended up getting ourselves a uh, pretty rough uh, spine shot on this thing, but it did end up taking it down and that's really all that matters. And as for this guy, we ended up getting a left lung and another left lung. So during this grind, we've actually been shooting a lot of other stuff as well, because this is one of those grinds where a lot of different animals are drinking at the same time. And it makes it so we can attempt to get some other cool trophies in the process. And well, recently we ended up having just that happen where we ended up getting a leucistic turkey to fly directly towards us for us to take down. And it was uh, pretty amazing to see. So I think without further ado, let's check out that first. I believe this is a special delivery diamond potential turkey. Let's just, uh, just get where he's going. Hey buddy. How you doing? You having a good day? <gasps> that's a rare. Oh my gosh, that's a rare. This, this is leucistic. Oh my gosh, this is not a light brown. This is a leucistic turkey. Pl Dude, if it's diamond. This could be a diamond. The 9 to 11 weight estimate level 2 turkeys have a chance at diamond. Is this... Oh, it's a gold, but it is leucistic. That's awesome. 
Oh my gosh, what a what a random leucistic turkey. I knew that just blasting random turkeys during this grind would pay off and well, the proof is in the pudding. There it is. Special delivery leucistic turkey. Love to see it. That is quite the way to get a rare. That was awesome. That was absolutely amazing. Gosh, it, it never gets old seeing these rare turkeys. They look beautiful. So much nicer than the uh, light browns. Love to see it. I don't know if I like the albino or the leucistic more though. I think I like the leucistic more just because of the kind of black throughout the tail. Really nice. If only that would have been a diamond though, guys. That would have been crazy. And here is our mythical black bear. Let's check this guy out. 2140. A beautiful, beautiful boar. And uh, for those of you that didn't know, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, male bears are called boars. So that, that's why I said boar there. Because I know uh, not everybody might be familiar with that term. But that is a beautiful bear right there. Absolutely beautiful looking. 2140 is not bad for a mythical, to be honest. I've seen some of them be a little bit lower than that, so this is a decent one. But as we were just looking at with that turkey, it is one of the few trophies that I have actually managed to get from this grind that was not a black bear. And that is because I've been shooting quite a bit of other stuff, as I mentioned. I have been shooting turkeys, um, the occasional bighorn sheep, mountain lions, and also Rocky Mountain Elk. And a few pronghorn here and there, so if we get some trophies along the way of those, that's just going to make this grind even better. Well, considering I don't see anything in the brush or out on the uh, shore in the open, I think it's time that we fast travel over to the other side, and this is one of the scenarios where it's really nice to have the Red Raptor on one of your rifles, uh, because it makes it much easier for these close range kills, that way you don't have to worry about the high zoom scope making it difficult to see where they're actually going, you can just immediately look over and scan to see if there's any bears, and in this case there is just some turkeys, so we shall actually use this right here, which unfortunately on the handgun it is a little bit darker. But we didn't really have a chance to take one of those out regardless because of the the kind of darkness of the Red Raptor on this particular handgun. But on the rifles it does look pretty good. So let's look for some more bears, see if there's any good males over here, and then take them out. And we do indeed have two males, so let's go ahead and uh, send a couple shots downrange. Uh, well, if that isn't just the most impressive bear in the entire world, uh, I don't know what is. That is an absolute giant. Monster. Just absolute tank of a bear. I mean, to be honest, that could be the great one. I I'm not exactly sure yet, but I think that does have a chance of being the great one. Uh, but all jokes aside, we've actually developed a brand new strategy for hunting this location that is quite different from before. Now, you may notice we've removed the blind and, well, it was simply because it's not quite as convenient to have a blind there as it is a tripod stand. Since with the tripod we do get that extra elevation. And then the other thing that I've changed is I added a tent right here. Because I noticed that the bears always run in this direction and kind of cut across here and run up the road. And this honestly gives you some pretty easy shots from this tent location. So we're going to take out as many as we can here and then immediately go up to that tent and try to take out the rest of them as they attempt to get away. So, let's, uh, start blasting. And just like that, we have put five shots into five bears. And we still have, uh, quite a few of them to try and take out. Now, I do try to get as many as I can just doing it like this. And then whichever ones we're not able to get are the ones that we will take out with the Red Raptor. And it's looking like it's time to do just that, considering we are not able to hit any of our shots today. I don't know what's going on with my aim, but hopefully the aim will be better once they're a little bit closer up here. And it sounds like we've got a bear right here. Let's attempt to get a shot into him if he will actually uh, come into the open, which it's looking like he's deciding not to. There he is. We actually do have a view of him now. Let's... uh see if he will get out from behind this tree and well he's not but this other one definitely seems to be and there we have it a black bear right in front of us that 
just happens to be staying perfectly behind the tree until now. Now we've got him down and his buddy as well. And it looks like there's even going to be another one running in front of us and this is exactly why I set up this location. For stuff like this because it's just so much more convenient than having to uh, chase them down. So we're going to be trying this out quite a bit more and seeing if it continues to be good because it's a nice way to get some of those bears that end up getting away from this uh, zone right here. And a lot of the time after I have finished uh, picking up all the ones up there, I'll run down here to claim the rest and there will be a couple more bear that are kind of running towards where we just came from. So it does give you plenty of opportunities to take out all of the bears that are at this location and just maximize the... I guess the amount of bears that you can get in the amount of time that you're spending at this location. And there we go, we see one more bear clear up here, let's get a shot into him real quickly. And just like that we've got ourselves another black bear down. This has really been a fun way to grind them and though it's hard to tell if it's faster or if it's roughly the same as what we had always done, but it sure is a lot more fun, that's for sure. Using the red raptor on them has uh, made this a little more enjoyable to me. And we've got another one right in front of us. Let's get a shot into him. This is another scenario where the Red Raptor is just great to have because at that range, it would be kind of difficult to get him in your scope without having to really, really jerk your mouse hard to the left. And well, with the Red Raptor, we can just easily get that shot into him. Well, with this grind being partially during Mountain Lion time, there is quite a few scenarios like this where we end up having to take down a Mountain Lion. And I'm hoping that in the end this will result in a super rare mountain lion as that has been one of the trophies that I've really wanted to get. So hopefully with uh, this grind we'll be able to get something cool like that. It's already produced that leucistic turkey and then it's also ended up producing a lot of diamond black bear and well since the last video we have got some more of those so without further ado let's jump into those. Oh! Oh my gosh just as shocking as that! <laughs> that's a that's a legendary. Oh my gosh, that's a legendary. Hey, and a mythical next to it, and a level five. You're you're not that special. Oh my gosh, there we go, there we go, level nine. Well, guys, I would say that is our uh, Fourth of July bear right there. It's not a great one, but you know, it, it's still good. I'll take it, you know, I'll take a nice legendary. Probably troll? Eh, it could be. But I've, as of now, had six of six for diamonds, so maybe this will be a diamond as well. We've seemed to be we seem to be getting very lucky with them. Here goes nothing. This should be a pretty easy shot. And just like that, we got him down. Um, we can't hit these for the life of me though. There we go. Got him down. Thought you could escape there, buddy. Nope. Not today. You will not get away. Let's see if this guy will end up being a diamond. I bet he's diamond. I think it will be. I think it'll make diamond. If I were to uh, go off of our previous luck, we've been six for six on level nines. Hopefully we'll keep that up. I mean, it definitely could be a, a troll, but... We're just gonna hope that it's a diamond. It's a diamond, 2330. Let's go guys, that's awesome. That's a good one too. 2330 is a very solid bear. Not bad at all, love to see it. That's a good 0.50 above diamond. Looking good, looking good. And that is a diamond number seven of the grind. Well, we really only have one thing to show off at the end of this video, and that is that leucistic turkey because, well, you guys have seen Diamond Black Bear a million times over and over again, so let's just take a look at this beautiful leucistic turkey because this is something that I actually have not been able to bag too often. I think this is only the second or third leucistic turkey I've ever killed for the Merriam's turkey, at least for the males, so it's definitely something a little bit more special than an average uh, Diamond Black Bear. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below if you guys enjoyed this video, and I will try to respond to as many of them as I can. With that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!